The first step in embedding the customer survey in our portal is to add a new page, a new tab, um, specifically for it. I believe this is the best course of action. So we'll click on new tab, we'll choose survey, we'll click on create, then we'll click on add content at the top right corner and we'll choose iframe. Now let's click on edit, let's delete everything that is written in the URL box, right click and paste our survey URL. Now we can also choose the height of the iframe for our survey. I think that 800 will be enough. Click on save and this is it. Our survey is embedded in the portal. Let's make sure that it works. If we choose excellent and click next then we are redirected to the last page and if we will choose fair and click next we are redirected to the second page where we can add some text then click next and choose fast here and finish survey and as you can see even our um, thank you message is successfully shown. So the survey is now embedded in our portal and the last thing we need to do is to tweak the email templates so that we can ask the user to take the survey once the ticket is closed. To do that we will go back to the home page then back to the survey page and we will copy the URL. Now note that the URL in this tutorial that you see is localhost that's because I'm recording this tutorial on my PC. Um, this is most likely that on your server the URL will be something that will be accessible for remote users as well. So we will copy the URL, we will save it inside a empty notepad file so we can use it later. To tweak the email templates I personally use Microsoft SharePoint Designer 2007 which is also free and let's see how it's done. To edit our email templates we will click on the settings options just under the help desk menu and we will click on help desk settings now here at the bottom of the page we see the ticket notification templates we'll click on that and we'll scroll a bit down and we will copy the text and we will paste it let's click here on split delete everything else and we will paste it here now, I simply uh, like working with SharePoint Designer again because it's free and because it is also a visual editor that makes your life easier while editing basically we can say that the uh, default email template is divided into two sections the section that Spiceworks admins see when they get the notification email and the section that the end user see when he get the notification email from Spiceworks. So obviously what we want to do is we want to add the link to the survey to the section that the non-admin users can see. So to do that we need to scroll down till we get to the part that says here unless recipient is admin. So here in this part we would like to add the link, we would like to ask the customer to take the survey. Let's put the cursor in here and let's add a condition that says if the ticket is closed then show the invitation to take the survey. 
So the condition in Spiceworks for a closed ticket is this. If ticket status closed and the best thing to do is immediately close the statement it's closed and add and if and this is best practice because sometimes we may forget to close the if statement if we go ahead and edit the text or put the text that we want to uh, to put inside that statement so best practice is uh, open the if statement then immediately close it then go ahead and add the text or edit whatever you want to do inside that statement let's say that we want to write uh, something like uh, how did we do take a short customer survey and help us get better Okay, and it looks good, and it would be wise to add some lines, some line spacing. Okay, so we have the text. All we need to do is to add the URL. So we'll simply select the take customer survey. We'll make it a hyperlink. Let's take the link that we've copied from the user portal previously. We'll paste it here and let's say that it will be opened in a new window or tab click OK select the entire text copy it let's go back to the email settings clear everything now let's paste the new code and let's send a preview of our emails. This is very important because the preview will also tell us if there is any problem with our templates, if we forgot to close a if statement or unless statement. As you can see we got a verification email that says that the preview email has been sent. So let's click Save. Now all we have to do is to put the new template to the test. So we'll go to our non-admin account and let's send email to our demo support it says I need help and we send it so the new ticket has arrived and it's been logged and we can reply to it let's go for something that has never been tried before please restart your PC and report back this is a startup guys click on update and let's go back to our email and this is our reply and as you can see there is no link to the customer survey because the ticket is still open okay so now the customer reports back and says yay it is working again and he sends the email and we can see that the comment yay it is working again has been added so now all that we have to do is to write uh, let you got it sorted Okay, mark ticket as closed. Click on the update button. Well, let's go back to our client's email. Click, click on inbox. And here's the email. Uh, this is the full correspondence. And here's the link. So how did we do? 
take a short customer survey and help us get better. So if the client clicks here, he will be redirected directly to our survey page at the end user portal, just as we planned.